update to a story we first told you about a few weeks ago. Two new cases of a rare infection. This is raising red flags when it comes to interacting with dogs and cats. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lumberg explains how their saliva could cost you your health. We're talking about a bacteria called capnocytophagia. The bacteria could live in the mouth of your cat or your dog. Let me switch the camera here and show you just how serious I'm talking. This means if your dog kisses you or licks you, it could be dangerous. It's very common in the mouth of dogs and cats. In fact, the CDC says 74% of dogs and 57% of cats carry the bacteria. Already a dozen cases detected in the last year. But the animals themselves don't actually get sick from it. Wait a minute, did you hear that? But the animals themselves don't actually get sick from it. You get sick. Two recent cases out of Wisconsin causing blood infections and devastation. I have 43 good years of my life. Dan Larson says a small nip from their family dog made his wife sick quickly. She died in June. The same condition forcing this man, Greg Mantiful, to have to amputate his hands and legs in order to save his life. Dog bites mash tissue and they crush the tissue. The bacteria can be inoculated into that wound and all of a sudden you get very sick with sepsis, high fever, low blood pressure. The bacteria harmless to your pets. But putting people who have a weaker immune system are over 40, have a compromised liver function, or have had their spleen removed, most at risk. But even still, doctors say there's little reason for you to panic. This is a very unusual event. It's uh, probably less common than being struck by lightning. Reporting tonight, I'm Rachel Lundberg, NBC Charlotte.